Hey friends, on today's episode, I am gonna to talk to you about how I wallpapered the stair risers in my stairwell, so stay tuned. I'm so excited to share with you the way that I transformed my staircase by just simply wallpapering my stair risers. Now, let me tell you, this all came about because my stairs were just boring. I had thought about possibly painting each stair riser to give it a new color or to do something fun, but I got an idea that maybe I should wallpaper and wouldn't it be fun to do this? So here are the steps that I took. Number one, when you decide to wallpaper a stairwell, it's much easier if you pick a paper, a wallpaper that can be turned in any direction. Let me show you what that looks like. So the wallpaper that I picked for my stair risers is a wallpaper that can really be turned in any direction. And the reason why this paper, that's important for a paper is otherwise you're gonna be cutting pieces and trying to match them up. And so you can see with this paper, I can really turn it in any direction it'll work because it's just a bunch of geometric shapes. So that totally works. Most likely your stair risers are gonna be longer than what the width of the wallpaper is. So if you don't wanna to have to cut a piece and then cut an extra piece to be able to match up to it, then I suggest that you cut it the long way. So that's the main thing to know. So if you go with geometric shapes like a check, this can totally work because this can turn any direction. It doesn't really matter. So you just mat, you know, you just cut your pieces, but cut it the long way instead of the regular way that we would normally cut wallpaper. Now, this makes a difference if you have a paper like this. Now, this one's a super cute one, and you can see some that I've been using, but it is a lobster. You can't necessarily turn this on its side with it looking normal. So that's the first thing you need to know, is find a wallpaper that you can definitely turn in any direction. Okay, so now let's talk about the tools that you're gonna need. Number one, you need a straight edge. Something that is gonna help you make your cuts and your cuts are going to be straight and exact. You don't wanna get your cuts off. So this straight edge is what's gonna help you line everything up and make your marks and then make your cuts. And besides that, what you want is some kind of razor. And what I suggest is you have a very sharp razor, whether it's an X-Acto knife that's brand new and maybe you replace the razor halfway through or you get something like this and put in a new razor and that will help you make super great straight cuts and it's it just makes it so easy you're going to want a pen or a pencil to be able to make the little marks as you measure using their straight edge and of course you're going to need a measuring tape to measure however long you need to measure it for so you're going to need all those little tools and really to wallpaper it's not that hard this is already pre-pasted personally that is what i prefer because you're going to see in these pictures how when i cut my piece and i usually cut maybe an inch larger than what i need an inch or two larger and then as soon as it dries you can take your straight edge and you can you can cut it and and definitely wait till it dries to cut because um, otherwise you can, it's just very hard to cut. It's not gonna cut as clean. So I do prefer pre-pasted because what I like about it is that you can move the wallpaper around. It's very easy uh, to move around. You simply wet it, fold it over as you see in the picture, and then you apply it on and move it around, get the bubbles out. And I just use a little rubber scraper uh, to get the bubbles out in a wet rag and that gets it all clean, gets the bubbles out, makes it lay on there, and I can still position it and move it, peel it up if I need to, and do it again. So I do prefer pre-pasted. Now, what I am finding more and more is that many wallpapers are not pre-pasted, so you have to buy the paste. And so I just purchased them because I'm about to wallpaper uh, another little spot in my home, and it's if, if, I, if you're gonna do it in a place that's gonna get really damp, like a bathroom, I would suggest getting something that is more heavy duty of a paste. And that's what I have here. It just says um, heavy, do, he, heavy duty wallpapering adhesive 
that's what you're going to want to get. Now, if you're a little worried about will this wallpaper and adhesive stick to my walls, maybe you have paneling that you're trying to wallpaper on stairs or something like that. Um, one thing that I've used that's been very successful is this. It's called Guards. It's a problem surface sealer. And you paint this on first. This is just the wall prep or the stair prep. And then you can apply your adhesive or your wallpaper that is already pre-pasted. Now, I know a lot of people love the peel and stick. It's personally not something I've used. Um, I feel like the paste enables me to move my wallpaper around and get it positioned in the right place instead of with the peel and stick, you have to peel it off and you have to get it in the exact right spot right off. Um, so I prefer to use a pre-pasted or paste it on myself. I just think it's much easier and then you just clean it with a wet rag. So the process began on the bottom step and I just cut my piece, I cut it up the roll and made sure I was maybe about an inch over and I pasted it on, I used my hands, I used my little rubber scraper to get it all smooth and then I went on to the next one and I would cut each piece, put it under the water, fold it over, take it to my stair as you see and I just went stair by stair by stair layering it on and this whole process took me just a couple of hours to do. It's a really quick process depending on how many stair risers you have. But as you go up, you can see the difference that it's making and that's what makes it so exciting. You don't necessarily have to worry about a repeating pattern. I didn't worry about that with this type of floral geometric uh, piece that I'm using. A lot of people says it looks a lot like Matisse. Um, I love this print because it's so random, it's so fun, and it's so whimsical. You can just see the difference, the before and then the after of the difference that this makes in my stairwell. I just love it. I can put any color I want to with it. So it's just a super fun project to do. So if you want to add a little bit of personality, think about adding some wallpaper to your stairwell. Just make sure that you get a print that can go up the roll and still look right when you apply it to your stairs. If you liked this episode, you probably have noticed that I am in HGTV Magazine this month. And the most exciting thing is my stairwell is in there too. And you'll see my cute little dog, Nike. She's posing perfectly on those stairs. I'm so glad I did this. Every time I walk up my stairs, I just have to give a big smile. So I hope you liked this episode. I hope it was helpful and maybe gives you a little bit of courage to try something like this. As always, if you like this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and let me know what you think about the stairwell. If you love it, if you think you could do something like this in your home, I would love to see it in the comments. I have a free download, my behind the scenes HGTV magazine photo shoot, and it's all for free. So I'm gonna drop the link down in the description below. Until next week, friends, I'll see you soon.